So fourth graders, we just finished watching the Wild Things book, and you were looking for monster parts and observing any textures you saw on those wild things. The bottom part of the sheet says practice with textures and color blending. So when you do this, you always want to use the darker color first. So we're going to be choosing three of the textures from the top, and we're going to use a dark color to draw them, and then a lighter color to cover them all over. So let's see, I'm going to pick a red, and I'm going to try this texture. That means I'm copying it with red, pressing dark. So red is going to be my darker color, and I'm going to have to find a lighter color to color over it. So I'm filling that whole shape in, and I'm going to pick this yellow color. It's called Unmellow Yellow, and I'm going to color right on the top of this texture. As I'm doing this, some of that red is kind of smearing and blending, but it does give it a pretty cool look and adds even more value into that texture. So I would like you to try to do that in all three of these boxes right now using crayon. All right, now that we have that bottom part done, hopefully you found that you were even adding some values in your project as you were making it. So I have some values in this last box. I used a whole bunch of different kinds of pinks to make that kind of a cool way to add some texture into our drawings at the end. When you flip this over, our next part is just to sketch three ideas for a monster. So you can go back to your pencil to do this. Think about shapes first. So maybe my monster is going to start out with a big circular head, oval, and maybe he's got a bottom that looks more like a gumdrop, and maybe he's got just one big giant foot claw. And I'm going to add an oval or a circle and maybe some claws on top of there. So right now I just have triangles, circles. Maybe this is more of a rounded rectangle instead of a gumdrop shape. And I love the idea of one eye, like a cyclops. Maybe this creature's got a wavy mouth and just two holes for nostrils. So this is just a rough sketch. I've filled that box in and I've created a, a creature that has a little bit of some fun qualities. So I'm going to keep doing that and fill up those three boxes with different sketches. Okay, fourth graders, after you have some rough sketches, you are going to choose your favorite one of the three and you are going to draw it larger onto white drawing paper. So when you do this, it does not have to look exactly like your sketch. You might draw and add things along the way and add more details. So I have drawn mostly from this one, but my sketch has changed since that plan. I was as, as I was putting it onto the final paper, I added some different things and more details. My final drawing looks like this on my paper, stretching from the top to the bottom and filling in that whole paper. So everything was done in pencil. I will tell you that I did erase, and erasing is not a bad thing. I am now ready to outline with my black marker. We're going to use the really thick black markers for this so we get a nice, bold, dark line. I have a messy mat under my paper so that the Sharpie does not go through, and I am outlining everything I drew in pencil. If I have some oopses where these lines intersected, I might go back and just make that line a little bit thicker and cover up those spots. At the end, when I'm all done with my marker, I am going to take a big eraser and just lightly erase everything to get those pencil lines that I missed. When you're finished, you should have a nice, dark, outlined creature. 